The home office desk setup is not an entirely new concept, although at the height of the pandemic in 2020 is when the movement sprung to its highest powers and from then on it hasn't looked like slowing down. Every other day setups keep popping up on social media feeds and this here is the ultimate desk setup guide for a functional, cohesive and aesthetically pleasing desk setup. Buckle up and let's go for the ride. If you're a digital creator like myself, you're probably already familiar with the importance of a good desk setup, a creative space where you can feel comfortable and inspired to tap into your creative juices. That's not to say the guide only implies to digital creators, whether you're an architect, an accountant or a teacher, these tips cover the whole spectrum. First and foremost, you'll have to find a theme you gravitate towards. A good place to look for inspiration would be Instagram, Pinterest or Twitter. After a while, you'll start to notice a pattern in the kind of photos you pick and that's usually a clear indicator of the style you resonate to. Case in point, my personal favorites are walnut and black as the main colors with grey and green accents. With the theme out of the way, let's jump straight into the core of the setup. Starting off with the monitor, this will heavily depend on the purpose of your setup. In my case, I went with a super ultra wide monitor in the form of the Samsung Odyssey UAG9 and for few good reasons. Being a digital creator, it comes in clutch thanks to its screen real estate which enables me to navigate through my timelines with so much ease. Secondly, having considered getting two 27 inch monitors side by side, the thought of the bezel in the middle didn't sit right with me, which brings me to the next point, aesthetics. Besides its main role of functionality, having a monitor that flows well with your setup adds to the overall aesthetic appeal of the space. From an ergonomic standpoint, its 1000 hour curvature matches the field of view of the human eye, which allows for a comfortable viewing experience whilst using the monitor. For those who might not know, when you view a flat screen monitor for an extended period of time, your eyes make small but continual focus shifts that lead to increased fatigue. This monitor's curved display helps your eyes maintain a constant focus across the entire screen, resulting in less fatigue and a more comfortable viewing experience. If you'd like an in-depth look at it, I'll leave a link of the review in the description box. In saying that, there's nothing wrong with having a smaller monitor, be it 21, 27 or 34 inches. At the end of the day, it's how best you utilize its capabilities. While on the subject of monitors, we might as well talk about the monitor arm. I'm a big advocate of monitor arms owing to the fact that they add so much ergonomics to any monitor setup by allowing continuous adjustments and orientations. Case in point, I'm able to adjust my monitor further back, closer to my face, swivel left or right and that allows for the ultimate user experience. Something to note though, before buying one, you'll need to take into account the following. First, a monitor arm that can handle the weight of your monitor. The last thing you want is realizing your monitor arm can't handle the weight of your monitor after buying it. My personal recommendation is the HX Agatron monitor arm as it can handle some of the heaviest monitors in the game. Do keep in mind though, it's a bit on the pricier side. Next, you'll want to ensure you're getting a monitor arm that fits the VESA mount interface of your monitor. On the flip side, in the event that you make that mistake, there are universal VESA mount adapters that you can use to mount the monitor arms. Thirdly, monitor arms instantly create space and reduce visual clutter. Using my monitor as an example, when doing its review, I had it on its original monitor stand and not only did it eat up a lot of my desk space, but also made the desk look so cluttered, which brings me to the next benefit of the monitor arm, cable management. The cable mess starts from the cables that are plugged into the I.O. of the monitor, but the beauty about it is most monitor arms, if not all, come with cable management channels, which help reduce the cable mess, hence making your desk setup look aesthetically pleasing. Speaking of aesthetics, having a desk shelf, or as some would call it, a monitor riser, not only adds to the visual appeal of the desk, but can also act as a monitor and phone stand extra storage space and also as a cable management solution. After the boom of the desk setup movement at the height of the pandemic, there has been an avalanche of companies that make desk shelves. Promed, IKEA being some of the mainstays and in recent times Balolo which has some really good pieces. Do keep in mind they can get quite pricey. If that's the case, they don't have a complicated build, you can easily make a homemade one. Starting with aesthetics, I'll use my desk setup to help put things into perspective. Aesthetically, without the monitor riser, my desk shelf isn't as visually pleasing as it is with one. In addition to that, it helps hide the wires coming from my peripherals, hence making my desk look clean. For those with smaller size monitors, it can act as a monitor stand and you can also use it 
as a makeshift phone stand by leaning your phone on it. When it comes to storage, I have my Gourmet Destray in a compartment on the right hand side and my M1 Mac Mini on the left hand side. While on the topic of storage, let's take a deep dive into my IKEA Alex drawers. The IKEA Alex drawers have been a mainstay in the realm of storage owing to the fact that they are quite cost effective and offer plenty of drawers. Regardless of your line of work, they help ensure everything stays organized in your setup. Continuing on the organization train, IKEA also offers drawer organizers which elevate your organization a notch higher. Not only does it make your drawers look neat and tidy, but also make accessing your frequently used items easy to grab. Besides IKEA, you can get really good ones on Facebook market if you do some digging. Plus, there are also lots of companies that sell desk drawers and you can always get one depending on your budget. Next up we have cable management. I'm sure most of you would agree having cables strewn all over your setup isn't the best thing to look at every time you're using your desk. Like mentioned earlier, the mess always starts from the monitor amp coming down. In that case, make sure the cable's plugged into the I.O. of your monitor, pass through the cable management channel of your monitor amp going towards the cable management tray. When it comes to cable management trays, they can be a bit pricey but there are lots of budget options on Amazon which do an impressive job at that. I'll leave links of some of them in the description box for you guys to check out. The trick to cable management, you only want one cable coming out of your desk into the socket. For those with cable management trays that have power board slots with power boards in them, it makes the job even easier as that allows you to plug all your accessories. Another thing to note is, if you have a sit stand desk, it needs to be at the maximum height to ensure the single cable coming out of your desk is lengthy enough so that when switching to your standing preset, you don't end up pulling it from the socket. When it comes to the tools of trade in this department, they vary depending on your setup. Although the staples are zip ties, cable clips, double-sided tape, velcro tape, cable raceways, just to name but a few. A saying that best sums cable management, out of sight, out of mind. Next in line we have peripherals and accessories. These are important to your desk setup because of the diverse roles each individual item adds to your productivity machine. Starting off with the keyboard. When it comes to the keyboard, besides the main role of functionality, try and get one that ties in well with the theme of your space, simply summarized by repetition creates rhythm. I'll try and use my setup to put that into perspective. The walnut stained chassis of my keyboard blends so well with my IKEA Calbee desktop and mouse. The bronze accents pick up the bronze of my vintage telephone. And finally, the black on the wristrest ties in with the black on the palm rest of my mouse and Delta Hub wristrest, not forgetting the black bezels of my monitor and Grovement mousepad. By the way, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and click the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. Next in line we have the mouse, mousepad and wristrest. These three items work in tandem to ensure you chip away at whatever task you've got at hand whilst ensuring your wrist stays healthy. The mouse being the main driver in this area, you'd want to get one that helps you with productivity. A good recommendation for creators is the Logitech MX Master 3 and I like to call it the mouse of endless possibilities thanks to its unlimited customizable options through the Logi Option Plus software. I know someone is about to type but you're using a different mouse. Well, this is one of those rare occasions that I chose aesthetics over functionality, but in saying that, this retro steampunk mouse still does all I need of it. Moving along, a mousepad helps you move your mouse super easy when scrubbing through your computer. Make sure you get a good quality one, as that makes the experience even better. To cap it off, adding a wrist rest adds to the ergonomics of your desk. Delta Hub has some of the best wrist rests in the game, and they are quite affordable as well. Everything you see in this video will be linked in the description box below. Another accessory that will add lots of visual structure to your setup is a desk mat. They come in various sizes and can also be used as mouse pads. The smoothness of your mouse movement will be dependent on the material used to make the pad. Case in point, wool felt desk pads are not as smooth as their leather counterparts. If you're a gamer, I'd suggest getting a leather one. For the average user who doesn't need lightning fast mouse movements, you can enjoy the best of both worlds. Besides the improved functionality and aesthetics, they also protect your desk from spills, ensuring a consistent look for ages to come. As we all know, nothing exists without light. Colors, 
textures and geometry become visible when light meets matter. There are mainly three types of lights. Task, ambient and accent lights. In case you didn't know, the light coming from the bulbs in your ceiling most often than not is always harsh, therefore when working on your computer late at night, you're bound to experience eye strain and this is where light bars come in. They've become so popular over the past few years and for a few good reasons. They not only save lots of dead space, but also save your eyes in the long run. There are many types on the internet, although my favorites are the Xiaomi and BenQ screen by Halo. Moving along, if you work on your computer hours on end, invest in a good chair and your back will thank you in the future. This is an essential aspect to your well-being and productivity in the long run. The key areas are lumbar and arm support. Ideally, your arms should be on the same level as your desktop. Having switched from a cheap and flimsy gaming chair, I've come to appreciate the importance of having a chair that ticks those boxes after my endless back pain disappeared. Next in line we have plants and decor. While these two aspects are not super important, they help add a personal touch and bring any space to life. Case in point, this vintage telephone adds some retro vibes to my desk setup while tying up nicely with my steampunk keyboard through the bronze accents. The plants on the desk not only add life to it, but also help with cable management by hiding the cable mess coming from my peripherals. For your desk setup to remain functional and aesthetically pleasing, it all boils down to how organized and clean you are. Regardless of the tech, accessories and peripherals, cleaning and organizing your office every couple of days will ensure it remains inviting for you to chip away on your dailies. Hope you find these tips helpful. I'll leave a link of all my socials in the description box. Feel free to tag me on Instagram, TikTok or Twitter so that I can have a look at your setups. If you'd like to see more tips on how to design your home office, check out this video on home office ideas where I go through a step-by-step -step process on how to design your home office. People of the internet, I'm signing out. See you on the next one.